Well, this is Brain Injury Awareness Month, and we have a success story tonight about battling back from a traumatic brain injury. This is not uncommon. We currently have about 100,000 Minnesotans here who are battling a traumatic brain injury in this state. Everyone's injury is different, and so is their journey of recovery. For many, the most difficult challenge is not the physical recovery, but the emotional and the mental health recovery. And tonight, we have a story of a Farmington teenager who bravely admits it's been his biggest struggle. It felt awesome. Every comeback story has an ending and a beginning. For Xander Billens, a standout hockey player for Lakeville South, the beginning of his story starts with a fall, not on the ice. I'm lightheaded, I'm dizzy, I'm just out of it. But in the kitchen. And I walk like here, and I just want to get to the couch, and I fell literally right there. And all I remember is my vision just slowly, slowly going away. And then bam, yeah. he was down. And like, he just, the noise yeah. when a six foot five person hits the ground, I mean, it just was loud. It was a loud, scary sound to turn around and then just see him face down. His parents took him to the ER at Children's Minnesota, where the staff believed he passed out from a severe case of the flu. But for the next week, the headaches would not stop. So we went back and they put me through more tests and they're like, he's got a concussion. And for a high achieving athlete, that one word diagnosis can seem like a game ending sentence. As an athlete, when you hear that you've been diagnosed with a concussion, automatically you think, well, I can't play. Mm -hmm. That's kind of hard to wrestle with. Yeah. The concussion program at Children's Minnesota placed Xander with a specialized recovery team. He worked with a physical therapist, an occupational therapist, and especially a clinical psychologist. Like no one thinks of the mental side of it, and that was the hardest thing for me to come around is I'm not right in my head, like I need help. For Xander, the emotional recovery was the hardest. Doctor, do patients and families often overlook the mental health aspect of recovery from a concussion. Yeah, I think they do. Dr. Kevin Coleman is the psychologist who helps Xander get back on skates. I think that's a huge part of, you know, somebody like me and, and my role in our team is to, is to be able to kind of emphasize uh, a sense of hope and that we know that there's, in general, a predictable course of a recovery for a concussion. And that if we do take our time and really focus on uh, doing each of the steps carefully, uh, that we see good outcomes. I will not forget when we sat down that very first appointment and um, she told us, we're gonna, be, we're gonna get him back. That was like the biggest relief because we didn't know. Now they do. It's a story that began on a kitchen floor and ends back on the ice at the state hockey tournament. What Xander ended up winning was lessons learned and lessons to teach. You're going to have to put your work in. Like it's not just going to come back super easily. And um, just be patient with yourself. And we need to hold Xander so high for talking about how hard his recovery has been, especially the mental health aspect mm -hmm. of his recovery. I mean, this is hard enough for adults to talk about and yeah. admit, let alone a high school student. But the team at Children's Minnesota, they've been able to help him navigate all of it so far in return to a high level of performance on the ice too. Yeah, another example, you never know what someone's going through or what they've no. been through because he looks great. Yeah, he's, he's doing well, but it's been a long haul. He's been at this for a year now, but he's, he's doing great, all with the support of his parents who've been amazing through all of this and the team of children's too. Yeah, it's great to see him back yeah, on his right? feet and on the skates. And on the ice, yeah. playing hockey again. <laughs> well.